Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to sort a CSV file which contains roll number, name and score of 100 students according to the score of the students. With that being said let's get started. I don't have the data so let me create some random data first. Import random module. Open a new file called sampledata.csv. In the first row insert the details of the rows separated by commas, as our file is a CSV file. After that, take a for loop from 1 to 101 and write 100 students details into the file. The score of each student is between 50 and 100, decided by random.randint method. After for loop close the file. After running this program, we will get a sample data.csv file. Now create another Python file, where we sort the data that we have, according to the scores. One extra thing I wanted to do is to provide ranks for each student. Create a new Python file where the data is sorted. After creating the Python file import CSV module. CSV module consists of reader method. Using this method, we can read the sample data.csv file. First open the sample data file in read mode. Next, use file object to read the CSV file. CSV.reader method takes two arguments. First argument is a file object and second argument is a delimiter. Using comma as delimiter, we can read CSV file into CSV reader. As I have said that this is a CSV object it cannot be sorted. To sort it, CSV reader object must be converted into a list object. CSV list is assigned to the list type of CSV reader. CSV list looks like this. It is a list of lists. The first item is a list with the details of rows, followed by the data of different students in different lists. Close the data.csv file. Now open a new file where the sorted data is stored. At first the details of the column should be inserted. As we are going to calculate rank, write rank to the file followed by remaining details of the columns, separated by commas. If the element is the last element, it is not appended with comma. In order to calculate rank, we need a variable called rank which is assigned to zero. Now slice the first row from the CSV list as it is not necessary. As CSV list is a list, it can be easily sorted using sort method. We have to give two arguments to the sort method. First argument is a key and the second argument is a variable reverse which is assigned to either true or false. We have to mention the key to sort. In this case the last element score is the key. So use a lambda function which returns third element of the list. Using score, we sort our list in reverse order, which means the data items in CSV list are in descending order. Now it's time to calculate the rank. In order to calculate the rank, we need to keep track of previous data. For the first element the previous data and the present data are taken as same and the rank is increased by 1. For every data item check whether the scores of previous and present data are equal or not. If the scores are equal then the rank is not increased by 1 and the rank along with a comma at the end is written into the sorted data file. Else the rank is increased by 1. The rank is written into the sorted data file along with a comma at the end. After that all the details of students are written into the file separated by commas. Close the file and run the program. After running this program, a file is created, which consists of ranks and details of each student in sorted order. This is how we can sort a CSV file by a specific column. That's it for today. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.
Meet you in the next video.